It was so exciting when we had the African Union launch the ending child marriage campaign and we said, yes, there's progress. And then I go down at country level and in Malawi, I, I met this young girl who was a child bride survivor. And I went up to her and I asked her, you know, do you know what your rights are in terms of your right to say no to this marriage? Or do you know about the ending child marriage campaign? She looked at me and she's like, no. What is human rights and what is a law? We sometimes have human rights at a global level and we have human rights at a local level and everyone has got a different understanding of what human rights is. When the Universal Declaration on Human Rights was committed to, it was about everyone and everyone as one, irrespective of what culture you're from, religion you follow, race, age. It was really about being one and coming together as one to say these are our basic rights that we respect, promote, fulfill and promote for others. And I believe that it starts with an individual ourselves, accepting them. And in the world that we live in, even though we have this declaration, I feel like it's not yet being enforced and there's a lot of work that needs to be done towards that. And I think my call is to the different political leaders that commit to this declaration to go back in their home countries and educate them and say, we have these rights for you. Most of them do have constitutions that really show the rights that are you know, articulated in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in them, but they still know enforce them. They still know that respect. There isn't that love for humanity because I feel like it stems from there. When people carry that love for humanity, you carry that longing to serve others with that respect and that dignity they deserve.